All right, everybody, thank you all for being here. Today is Sunday, the 23rd of June. All right, let's get going. Today is Sunday, the 23rd of June, 2019. Uh, we're going to bring Brother Larry up in a moment after I do these uh, announcements. Uh, today is the, the 23rd of June, like I said. You want to thank the Lord for his marvelous grace. You want to start every day off prayer, obviously, especially when you meet with those of like precious faith. And the first thing we do is thank the Lord for his death on the cross of Calvary for our sins and for the grace of God given to us. You want to pray for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Denise, I have you up here and Jim, um, thinking about you guys especially, and we want folks to be in prayer. Uh, Denise lost a, a family friend, uh, uh, the son of a, of a couple that was your, your close friends with you all. Uh, I, did, I did talk to the saints about this here, and I might even mention it. His name was David Johnson. He was missing uh, a couple weeks back. Well, just this week, uh, it's a local story here in the area, in Northern California, but they did find his body. He didn't survive. Uh, they, uh, they found him in, in the water. So be in prayer for his family and uh, for Denise and Jim, because they knew, they knew the parents and so forth. And uh, it's just a horrible thing. We, we, we thought this might be what happened, because uh, when you're near these rivers and they found his stuff on the bank, but they eventually, there's some closure now. They did find his, his body, and so be in prayer for uh, Denise, Jim, and for the family. Pray for your civil authorities as well. Today we have, I had visitors, but we have one so far. We we're supposed to have a, a guy named Logan. He lives in the area, so he might come. Uh, he might still come today or uh, he, some, another time. But we have a special visitor, Brother Doug from, from Hampton, Virginia. Brother Doug has been in communications for a while with our ministry. Um, he watches what Ryan posts and so forth. He's, he, his heart for the <coughs> Lord is evident when, when, when we communicate. He supports our ministry. He loves our ministry. So much so that he, he decided to come and visit us from the other side of the country. So, Doug, we thank the Lord for you, for you being here, man. And uh, now you got to be like Craig and just make the move. And then we are ready. <laughs> come on, bro. Now, now Doug, he, he's looking forward to our, particularly our time of Q&A. He loves to discuss spiritual things. And he realized the best thing to do is to do it in person. So we ha we're happy to have you here, brother. Thanks for being here. Um, Ryan, you had something you wanted to say about YouTube? Yeah, so so uh, I was wanting to do it chron chronologically. So yes. putting up uh, Jay Dolan's play because a lot of people like sure, to see Sure, sure, sure. But one thing I noticed was because Jada's play has some songs that are copywritten, oh. that, that we got a copyright uh, announcement, which means that they monetize that video because the people that own the right to that music get paid when you put their music on YouTube. So we have like, there's a commercial or whatever for the uh, any video. But I wanted people to know that we're not monetizing. Okay, we're not monetizing. Great, great point. I didn't know that. As a result of if there's copyright. Because Jay Lynn was in Annie, Ryan recorded the production. He, pu he put it on our YouTube channel. Those songs are copyright, copyright songs <laughs> because it's Annie and the Broadway. And so, uh, and, and so what you're saying, so they have to, they have to, basically there's a com commercial saying about the, the song. Okay. Well, it's, it's, it's not us. Commercials because the people that own the rights to that song get paid any time their song plays. Okay. And the way that YouTube does that is they put commercials on it. Okay. Their song. Yeah, there you the go. Commercials are not related to the song per se, it's just a random Random thing. thing. Okay. So it, it's it's not us. We're not, we're not monetizing. We're not monetizing. Okay. 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 After that's done, then we'll be back to the. Uh, so you put in the first, the first half, the first uh, half, and then the second half, should, the second half coming. Be coming up on Monday. We'll that okay, and I must say, because I was there live at Jada Lynn's play, Ryan's production, his his edit, his video uh, recording, editing, and the sound production is like Broadway. It's fantastic, especially the sound, especially the audio. Especially the audio. Board, so exactly. So you can check it out. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and, and continue on. We rent an offering. We, we have to rent here. We don't take a collection. It's between you and the Lord. What we sow is what we get back. There's a box there. That's how we uh, provide for the ministry here. Those who desire to give back, you can pray for us and you can give. This brother, he, he's part of our ministry, although he's uh, uh, way on, on the East Coast. Brother Doug, he gives to our ministry and he he prays for us and so forth and appreciate us. And you can do that and you can do that by mail as well. I do want to read this before we get started and, and before we bring Larry up to share a song with us. 
This was a, uh, this is Krista's phone because Jada Lynn, my sweet little artist, she's trying to get some, some papers to, um, to, she's trying to print out some papers in the computer to, to draw, you know, some, something to color or something. And uh, she used all my ink up, so I couldn't print out my thing this morning. So I had to send this email to forward it to Krista and use her phone. Uh, this is from Brother Armando, and the subject is, You Are a Blessing to Us. So it's by him and his family. Hi, Brother Ron. Greetings to you, your beautiful family, and the brethren at NCGF. I just want to tell you how much I appreciate what you do and how hard I know you have worked and sacrificed to get the word of God to people. I can see your heart and I feel the love you have for our Lord. You've made a huge difference in my life, mainly because you've taught me so much. Watch this. The biggest thing has been about being joint heirs with Christ. Bar none, that has impact. Check this out. This is why we do it. Pressing toward the mark. This is what the, this brother said. Bar none, that has impacted, impacted my walk more than anything any teacher has ever said to me about the Bible. Let me say that again. By teaching about what it means to be a joint heir with Christ, bar none, that has impacted my walk more than anything any teacher has ever said to me about the Bible. When I hear that, I know that the word of the Lord through our ministry is going forth powerfully. When I get that feedback from folks, I know that what we're doing is, is what the truth is. We're motivating folks in their walk, and, and that's, that's huge, so I appreciate his feedback. He says, I'm sure you have gotten much positive feedback about this from those of us who embrace the word of God rightly divided like you teach it, with the mind of Christ and how it should work in us as believers. Quite honestly, there is such a tremendous joy now to pray to the Lord Jesus, knowing that he, in fact, wants me and us to be part of what he's doing. He gets it. The Lord wants us to be a part of what he's doing. Knowing that he wants to partner with us through prayer is a great honor and privilege. Our study on prayer, God wants us to be part of what he's doing. That's why he gives us the privilege of prayer. And to know that he is actively preparing us for the judgment seat of Christ is a thrill without equal. How absolutely gracious he is. Amen. What a great blessing you are to me, brother. You don't know me, but you have become, through your labor of love, my beloved brother in Christ. Well, praise the Lord. Not that you were not already a brother by the fact that we are both saved, but you have been telling me the absolute truth without pulling punches, and that I will, uh, and that I will appreciate eternally. I don't have any church I can attend here in western North Carolina, that is a rightly divided grace fellowship. So to have you help me with the work of faith through your labor of love is huge to me. This is really small print I'm reading here, okay. <laughs> oh man, okay. <clears throat> Thanks Jada Lynn, I love you babe. It's so small, okay. The patience of hope and all that Paul has to say has come into focus like never before. That was key. He's seeing what the Apostle Paul is saying, amen. And he gives some verses, 1 Corinthians 14, 37, 1 Thessalonians 1, 3, Colossians 3, 24. I have had, okay, here we go. I have had for many years a brother in Christ who has been right there with me in my studies. And he gives, I'll give his first name, Kevin. And we have bounced ideas off of each other, mainly by phone, for a long time, trying to learn the absolute truth of the word. He has been a blessing to me as I've seen you also have friends like this. And I was telling Doug, we spend hours in Q&A bouncing stuff off each other as men, right? All right, let me see here. But it's been slow going for us because of all the denominational confusion and brainwashing. Although, although slow, we started with learning that the KJV, the King James Bible, is the word of God. Then we learned about dispensations. Then more specifically about Paul being our apostle. And now the biggest thing besides being saved, heirs of God, has been learning about what it means to be joint heirs with Christ and how our Christian walk should go. All this has taken many years, but although we have lamented the length of time, we have been repenting for being carnal, and now we are looking forward to the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And he quotes that passage right there, okay? So although we have been watching your ministry on YouTube, for only a short time. That's the key when I read this. He hasn't been watching that long, but what he has been watching has been so impactful. So thank you for that feedback. Thank you, Lord. Uh, so although we have been watching your ministry on YouTube for only a short time, we have grown more in the last, oh, get this. 
We have grown more in the last couple of months than in several, several years before. He's learned more in the last few months than he has for years. I wish I could attend your fellowship. I've been teaching my wife the things I've learned, and she has also made some refocusing in her walk. She's already a sweet lady anyway, but she appreciates the knowledge. She's right there with me in love and appreciation of our Lord Jesus Christ, as she has been for the last 26 years. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. Mm -hmm. Finally, brother Ron, we, my wife, and he gives it her name, and two youngest girls and I will be in Sacramento. This is why I wanted to read it, because brother Doug's busy. We will be in Sacramento, and he gives the dates. It's uh, late September. And we hope to see you and Ryan and Matthew and Dorothy, calls you Dorothy, and all our brothers and sisters in Christ at NorCal Grace. Thanks again so much for your good work. If there's anything we can do for you in the coming years, please don't hesitate to call me. With sincere brotherly love, Armando. And uh, I might get him in touch with you, Fernando, because yeah, he has Hispanic, yeah. Because we can get him some tracks, yeah, yeah, some sure. of those Spanish tracks. Yeah. He's in North Carolina. Yeah. He has a heart for the Lord. So we, I'll, I'll hook you up with yeah, that information, yeah. okay? Well, I wanted to share that to encourage you guys. Wonderful. Praise the Lord for that. Yeah. What I've got out of it as the minister is that it's impacting him in these short months. That means we're focusing on the right things. Right. Let's focus on the right things. Well, speaking about that, before we get started, Brother Larry, will you come and share a song to prepare our hearts for the word of the Lord, please? It's always wonderful to have Larry here. He has wonderful uh, songs for the Lord. I will give Krista her phone back so she can watch on the Facebook. Okay. Go ahead, Larry. Thank you. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Okay. Um, the verse of scripture, so the song is called, well, yeah, good morning. It starts with um, verse 12. It says, Give it thanks unto the Father, who has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who has who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. So you've heard the song before, and I'm going to sing it again today. The blood of Christ that washes white as snow. <coughs> Oh, the blood of Je Jesus. Oh, the blood of Je Jesus. Oh. The blood of Je Jesus it washes white as snow. The redeeming blood of Je Jesus. The redeeming blood of Jesus. The redeeming, the redeeming blood of Jesus. It washes white. As snow, it reaches to the highest mountain, and it flows to the lowest valley. 
best way to get ready for the work. Thank you, Larry. I appreciate that, man. It's the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we're here today.